I can't blame Ratty for grass, right? Ratty did not invent grass. Ratty's only playing with the toolbox that he's give, had given to him. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. And on the road again. Okay, so I'm not going to sing it, but I was just wondering, what is people, like, why would people, like, not want me to sing on the road again? Is it, like, they didn't say my singing was bad. They were just like, really, Cage, on the road again? What's wrong with that song? I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not really a fan of country, but, you know, um, I don't know. I think it's a pretty fun song. I like it. I like it a lot. Sorry, I butchered it for anyone that is a fan, but, you know, I got to be me. What are you going to do? All right, so enough with on the road again crap. Nobody cares about that. People want to know what we're going to be doing today. Well, honestly, you already know what I'm doing today because you saw it in the thumbnail, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> we're going to be going to the old mine, and we're going to be, like, making a little outpost in the mine, okay? Now, I've never made, like, a real outpost in the mine before. What I would normally do is I'll just make a couple things here and there, but today we're gonna go, we're gonna do the whole, the whole kit and caboodle, the whole shenanigans, everything is everything, okay? Oh, there we go. Um, we're gonna be making a shack, we're making storage, we're gonna be making lots of storage, actually. I'm thinking about making three storage things down there, um, because, I don't know, just feel like I need a lot of storage there. Um, we're also gonna make a spot for the food and drink. We're gonna go ahead and make one of those water containers. Um, what are they actually called? Water barrels? We're gonna make a water barrel down there. And, um, we haven't put any water in it today. Um, we're gonna have to, like, at some point make a water trip to all of our outposts. Uh, mainly the, the forge, the forge outpost and the, the bear lair, okay? Um, they both, they're gonna both have water storage containers, but no water. So, we have to do a lot of work on the water. Um, maybe I should make a second water purifier. I don't know. I could probably do that. By the way, if you want to know how I'm swinging twice, you press the left, left mouse button, and then right when you're about to hit, you press the number four key. There you go. And then you press the four key again to take it out. And if you do it right, it's actually faster like that. I don't always do it right, but but you know, but when I do, oh boy, oh boy, I'm swinging like swinging like a maniac. Um, do I even want to bother with those two cars over there? These two cars only give half the resources for some reason. I don't know why. Um, if you're wondering, if you're wondering why I'm hitting cars and what resource I ran out of, you simply have not been paying attention. Um, <laughs> I am out of components again because I'm always out of components. Everything takes components, and and I don't know. I'm just always out of it, and I'm always punching cars because I can. All right, there we go. Oh, looking good. Looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect some uh, some resources here. Just get as many components as I can carry. I've actually got this whole thing pretty much um, ready to go. And let's, let me just show you what I got going on for the trip to the mine. What are we going to call the mine, guys? We need, a, we need a, a funny name for the mine. The mine outpost or whatever. I don't know. I think we need a funny name for the mine outpost. Are we going to need more of those? Uh, more logs? I don't think so. I think we'll be okay with the, I think we'll be okay with the logs. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna gather this stuff up and we'll be going to make the mine outpost Let me know in the comments what you want to be what you want the mine to be called because I got to be honest with, with you guys You led me to cages cheat day cafe, and I think that might be one of the one of the best that the cages cheat day cafe Might be such a good name. I think someone could use it I mean, You don't have to put the word cage in it. Just call your call your restaurant the cheat day cafe. I Think that's really uh, a really cool name. I'd be like oh, cheat day Well, it's where you come when you're well, you know when you're doing your diet and you have your cheat day you come here and you pig out Maybe that's not enough. Maybe maybe you need people to come every day You don't want to I guess you don't want to be encouraging your customers to only come to your store once a week Maybe that's not the best idea. I don't know. Maybe Maybe, maybe someone could make it work <laughs> Okay, so I know without a doubt for a fact I'm forgetting stuff. I just can't think of what actually I just thought of two things I'm missing um, food and drink and I'm actually going to bring extra food because I want to load up the drying rack that I make there Don't forget When you put wood on the drying rack, it never goes bad Take advantage of it now before he fixes it people All right, let's put that up there and that looks good and oh look at this Look at this We're gonna bring as much wood as we can Because well, to be honest, there's no reason not to There's no reason not to so let's go ahead and grab some of this dried meat um, the dried meat on this rack is, uh, that one's, eh, you know what? That'll be fine. You can just grab it like that, by the way, if you want. Or you can go on the rack and grab it like this. I'm going to grab as many as I can possibly hold. Because I want to get that dry, because basically what I'll do is I'll go to the mine, and then I'll be like, oh, look, there's, there's food and drink here. 
This is wonderful. Someone really planned this out well. I think I'm going to make water, more water. Let's try that again. I think I'm going to make more water purifiers here. At least one more. And because I want to start purifier, purifying a lot of water. If I'm going to be taking water out to the mine and the bear lair and all over the freaking world, I'm going to need more um, collectors. Man, it's, it's really dark for... So I guess it is only 6.30. I guess that is a good point. So let's put all the meat over here. A shift click option. Shift click. Ready. 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 Please give us the shift click. We need a shift click. Not not manana. Aorta. Okay. That's what the that's what the ladies at work tell me. Um Nobody at my, my job speaks English. Uh, so what, what they tell me is they're like, um, they tell me to do something. And then they go, not manana, ahora. And that means not tomorrow, now. And I always think that's funny. Uh, yeah, just throw it on the ground for now. I don't have room for my inventory, but I want to take it. Where's the rest of the people? Where's my people? Get up, Kate. Get up. I need that freaking wood. Do you have any wood on you, Kate? 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 Hey. You got any wood? Kate? Kate? Thanks for the wood, Kate. And I never took my water container out of the thingy-mabob, so I need to go make sure I grab that. Actually, let's just do that now and head on out. I still have some couple inventory slots, but I'm okay with that. Unless uh, I see Scott. I'm not going to go looking for Scott. I want to get going. I want to get going, man. Like, where the hell is Scott, anyway? Is Scott in here? Yeah, look, look at this. Look at this. This guy's pathetic, man. This guy's pathetic. He's sitting here sleeping at the foot of Kate's bed like some kind of dog. Like he's like he's her dog. No, I wasn't saying anything, Scott. What's going on, buddy? How are you doing? Would you like a treat? Would you like a biscuit, Scott? Yeah. Yeah, just keep sleeping at the foot of Kate's bed. I'm sure she'll come around. I'm sure she'll respect, she'll respect you for this. Unbelievable. You got a lot to learn about women, Scott. That's a, yeah. So he's sleeping at the foot of her bed, and she's sleeping in some random house, you know, because she she can't deal with this guy. This guy's a stalker. Scott the stalker. First he was cockblock Scott, then he was money Scott because he's cutting down trees for me, and now he's stalker Scott. Unbelievable with this guy. Man, have some self-respect, my man. Did you think maybe she's just not that into you? You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe, you know, considering you're sleeping at the foot of her bed and she's freaking getting a restraining order against you. I mean, she's come to me for a restraining order against Scott. And I was like, eh, Kate, you're overreacting now? I don't know. I, I kind of changed my mind on the whole subject. I think we need to, uh, I think we need to look into this. Me and, uh, me and, uh, Rachel will look into the, into the Scott Stalker case. See how it goes. All right, so I think the first thing we need to do looking into this is get storage down there. So when we get down there, we could just load things up and not have to worry about, you know, being so full on inventory. Uh, the only thing I need now for the storage is some of these. And I'm also going to need this right here. All right, that should be enough for storage. Let's go ahead and drink. Brought lots of food. I think we've got everything we need. The hammers, we're going to have to take the hammer back to repair, by the way. I wanted to see what the hammer would repair for, 36%. It takes like three iron ingots worth of materials which is just not going to work for me um i'm also not going to build right here oh i can't move this thing what does that thing take because i want to make another smelter then because this is not where my main stuff is going to be oh uh, where is the smelter it's not in there it's not in there it's in here it's just stone right m m mainly stone yeah oh yeah two components most stone that's fine that's fine i may not get to that today uh this is not going to be built in one day but we'll see. I don't have the stone. I definitely don't have it with me. But where I was thinking about building um, would be right around here. Uh, maybe I could build it. Right. Maybe I could put it on the edge right here. That might be pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see what it'll look like right here. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to fit everything in there. I won't be able to fit everything in there, like all the uh, things. I, my original idea was to build in here. Although there's too much trash on the ground in here. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Maybe? Right here? Yeah, see, it doesn't look like there's any good, really good spot to put it. Alright, you know what? I think I have a spot for it here. All we gotta do is we gotta kinda line it up. Right? Line it up as best we can. Eh, it's kinda lined up. That looks pretty good. 
Uh, come on, line up, damn you. Mm. Mm. Don't think... Wait, what is it? Don't think, don't plan. Just do it, my man. Okay, Cage, you're right. You're always right. So we're going to put this right about there. Okay. Now, I should be able to get around there pretty easily. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. All right, so let's just build everything we can with what we have. We'll bring in some nails. We'll bring in some components. This should be a pretty good spot for this. Now, why am I building a shack inside of an enclosed area? I don't know, because I want to. I think it'll be cool. This is where I'm going to put the storage and the bed. And then I'm going to put the drying rack, uh, the food, the drink, and the... Um, what do I need? Nails and, and planks. Uh, I'm going to put everything else out, out like side of that like little you know, shack, basically. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know. It makes me happy. <laughs> I'm happy about it. You know, I also keep forgetting to bring my freaking bow, by the way. Um, just, I cannot remember to, to bring one of my backup bows. Or they're not my backup bows anymore. I guess they're my, they're my main bow, but you know what I'm saying. All right, so let's go ahead and we just need some nails. One stack of nails should do. Wait, where are my nails? Did I put? I must have put them in here. There's no way I didn't bring them, right? Right? Yes, no, maybe so. There we go. Hey, I'm, I'm a rhyming fool today. Well, I got part of that right, I guess. Yeah, all right. So we're going to finish this up. And um, I don't know if I'm going to actually make the the, fo the forge. I guess I will. It's kind of weird that you don't get stone in the mine, isn't it? Like, you don't mine stone in the, you know, the mine. It's kind of weird, but, you know, it is what it is. And I can keep my pickaxe here, too. That would be pretty cool. Keep my pickaxe and all that stuff here. I won't have to carry it around in the vehicle. You know, save me a little room in there. Pretty sweet. Why did I bring the components when I don't need them? I don't know. I thought I did. You know. But I guess not. Let's go ahead and eat a little bit so we don't lose any hit points. If you, if you, you know, if you work through the hunger, you're going to lose a little bit of hit points. Honestly, it's not really that big of a deal unless you plan on going into combat or you're worried about, you know, the infected. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. Just you could work through the hunger. The only reason I'm not is because I've got the food, so... And um, I've got plenty of it, and I could always get more. The bear lair is just going to be the bread basket of my operation. I mean, for real. Um, except that it doesn't produce bread. Uh, other than that, though. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. And I can actually bring my peeps down here if I want. Not that I'd want to, but, you know, I could if I wanted to. All right. And it's, yeah, we got plenty of room to walk around here. So I think uh, the next thing we need to look for is a space for the drying rack. So let's find the drying rack. There we go. And I think the drying rack could go right over here. Where would I put the water container? I mean, honestly, I could put it right by it. Put the drying rack right there. And the water container actually might fit um, in there. Uh, mm, maybe I could put the drying rack like this. No, that's not going to work. All right. Let's just put the dry I think I was. I think I had it right the first time. Kind of line this up a little bit. There we go. And the drying rack can go right about there. And then what we'll do is we'll put the uh, the barrel right next. To, ah, it's not gonna be a lot of room. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't barrel. Well, you know what? Maybe it'll work when the drying rack's done. All right. So we do have to make some sticks. We need seven sticks. Seven sticks, please. Made to order. Made to order. Hell yeah. And finish that up. You know, th that green outline is not exactly... Oh, no. there's That's not enough room for the barrel. No effing way. No. I mean, I could probably just build it there, but I won't be able to move it ever. And I don't think I want to be ever, ever in the spot where I can't ever move it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. Oh, boy. So that's... Okay. I was going to say that's in a bad spot because now I can't move it. I think that's pretty good right there. And then... Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. How about this? Huh? Huh? Yeah, right like that. That'll work. And we've got to go ahead and make this. We don't have the wood for it, but that's okay. We will go get some more wood. And then I think right over here... I think I've, I think I've got places for everything. This is working out. This is working out. It doesn't always work out for me, but it's working out today. And a furnace can go 
right here. Is that the way it's supposed to be facing? Or No, that's the way it's supposed to be facing. Okay. And should we caddy corner it? Just like that? Nah, that's dumb. Uh, let's just do it right here. Good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, the thing is, you can't move it. It's kind of weird. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You can't move it, but it's kind of weird because you can move everything else. All right. Fine by me. And then we come in here and we make ourselves a place to sleep. Uh, I'm trying to think where I want to put the storage. Uh, you know what? I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it, guys. I got this on lockdown. Uh, no. Uh, there we go. All right, we'll put this right up against here. That looks pretty good to me. We can always move it if we don't love it. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then we're going to put... I'll put a start with two storage containers. Honestly, I probably only need two. I brought enough for four, but I probably only need two. So I think um, storage right here. Again, we can always move it if we need to. And then storage right here. Definitely need two, at least. You got a lot of stuff down here, man. Like, you know, you get all this stuff. Just so much stuff. All of the stuff. We're also going to have to put up some lights in here. I'll probably put a generator and some lights in here at some point. I'll probably light up the whole mine, to be perfectly honest. Okay, and let's take care of this. And then I think we're just going to go to sleep. Oh, maybe we're not. we got to finish that up. Because it is dark, and I don't like making dark videos. So one of the cool things about, like, sleeping down here is it's the only place... Oh, I was just about to say, it's the only place where I won't get woken up during the night um, by infected. Because there shouldn't be any infected down here. They don't come into the mines. As far as I know, they don't spawn in here either. But, I don't know. I guess I, I, guess I will get woken up from time to time down here. I'm assuming it'll just happen less often, though. Hopefully. All right, there we go. It is now the morning, and let's go ahead and make these things. I need a lot more uh, wood planks, by the way, but that's okay. I do have some stuff with me. I, I'm not going to get quite as many wood planks doing it this way, but that's all right. That's all right. What are you going to do? I don't have I don't have my uh, saw bench down here, and um, I'm not about to make a saw bench just for down here, so that is fine. Man, this is taking a long time, dude. Sawing up the wood. Sawing up the wood like a boss. We don't need that many. Or I don't know. Maybe we do, but I don't need that many right now. Oh, yeah. You only need four for these. Okay. I. Right. There we go. Those two are done. Okay. And now we're going to finish this up. And that's going to be done. Although we don't have any water. But that's okay. This is done. Let's go ahead and put some stuff on the drying rack. Beautiful. Oh, boy. It's all coming up. Cage, people. You know, I wasn't going to do this furnace today, but yeah, the hell with it. We got time. Why not? Why not? Now we could keep some stuff down here. Not that we will, but I'm just going to put some stuff down here for now. And I'm going to show you guys how I get stone. And I know a lot of you guys know how to get stone. I've showed it many times. I'm going to show it again because not everyone sees all my videos. So I'm going to show you guys how the best way to get stone in Mist is survival. All right. First of all, you're going to get out of whatever whatever home you're in. Get out there in the world, get into your truck or your car, whatever the heck you decided to uh, to fix up. Although I don't know why you fix up anything but the car. I think another thing we're going to do before we go out is we're going to break this one apart because I might get back a lot of stone for breaking it up. Oh, can't break it up. Okay, well, never mind then. Never you mind. So you come outside and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the old escape key. You're going to go to options. You're going to go to graphics and foliage down to low. Now you'll be able to see everything on the ground. As God intended. Well, not really. I mean, I could I guess God did make grass. I can't blame Ratty for grass, right? Ratty did not invent grass. Ratty's only playing with the toolbox that he's give, had given to him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're just simply gonna look for stone. I'm not gonna drive any farther, because it's actually quite a pain in the ass to drive through here because of the, the bumpy terrain. Um oh I'm not even seeing any stone. That's not that's not good. What the hell? There's all the stone, man. I don't see any stone at all. The heck? What is this? What the hell is this? Oh boy. That sucks. No, 
continue looking. We will get lucky. Find some stuff. Man, I can't believe there's a stone in here. It's kind of insane. Oh my god, where's the stone? I can't believe there's no stone. But you know, I think I'm wasting my time. This might be a spawning issue where no stone spawns over there. So, this is the way it goes sometimes. Mine up there, stone over there. Alright, yeah, I think there's something like going on with the spawning up there where it just simply doesn't spawn things, you know? Um, it's like that around the city. Like, nothing spawns around the city for some reason. Just something with the way he uh, built the game, I guess. I'm sure it's something he'll fix eventually. Oh, there we go. Get the stone. Get the st Actually, I don't care about those big sticks. They just make spears, and spears kind of suck. I mean, they're okay for stabbing uh, infected in the head, but um, they're not really good for anything else. And honestly, if you're stabbing infected in the head, usually it's through a fence. So, like, you can just punch them if you want. You know, or just use a spear, but it doesn't even break that quickly, so. I don't really need it. I got like eight. I got like two stacks of those sticks um, back at base. So we need 18 of these. So that's going to be two stacks and two stone. Two stacks and two stone. Right, get rid of that leaf. Yeah, yeah, stupid leaf. Nobody likes you. Poor leaf. I'm sorry, leaf. I didn't, you know what? I'm sorry. My bad. Leaves are awesome. Isn't you know? I mean, they're good. They're good. You know, I just don't need that many of them. That's the thing. All right. So 18, 16, 17, 18. That's exactly as many as I need. Normally, I would try and get a few more. I, I try never to get, like, exactly what I need for something. Um, anytime I get something, I like to get a little bit more. Just, you know, because if you do that each time, then you have a surplus, which is always good. But um, to hell with that, man. I want to get back in the mine get this freaking thing built. Because this thing is coming out boost. It's coming out better than I thought it was going to, to be honest. I'm, I'm quite happy with it so far. Uh, and I will be lighting it up at some point. That won't be this video, though. So let's get on down there. Let's finish up that... Um, that furnace, and then we're, you know, we're gonna call it a video, man, because this is freaking, this is awesome. This thing's coming out really nice, you know? I just can't wait for him to open up the rest of the mine. And, um, although my, if he opens up the rest of the mine in this world, uh, my furnace might be blocking the way in. Um, for those of you who don't know, the mine, this is just the beginning part of the mine. Normally the mine, um, this little door right here is open, and there's like a whole nother set of the mine, which is huge, right? Um, but then for some reason he closed the door off in the last update, probably because he's like working on what's behind the mine and you know, it's just not ready. So, you know, that's fine. There we go. The furnace is complete. The drying rack, the water storage. This freaking place is coming out sweet. It's coming out so sweet. I'm going to let you guys go now because I'm finished a little bit early. We don't really have anything else to do here. Anyway, guys, if you haven't been enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.